you guys, Lieutenant Dan here with a video on applying water slide decals. So I'm in the process of painting and weathering all my pieces. And um, before I finished up uh, the next country that I was doing, which was Italy, I wanted to start, uh, I had ordered a bunch of decals from HBG and uh, Combat Miniatures to get all of the uh, roundels for the aircraft. And I did buy some for like the tanks and stuff like that, that'd be later. But I wanted to get the, uh, the aircraft in and so I've done a few and uh, I got inspired by others in the past and then most recently with Mr. Hambone he was uh, he did a he did a little bit on uh, one of his uh, Japanese fighters and that kind of kicked me in the butt to say come on you could do this so I did went out and made a big purchase on all those decals and I love it look at this so I, I, I put them on the uh, this is the obviously the China Lone P40. I just wanted to doctor it up a little bit. It just adds just a little bit of detail that I like. Not too much, just a little bit of visual stimulation. Here's a, I just finished this French one and I just applied a matte varnish to it so so what got me to this point was uh, I did have an issue um, for some reason you know I, I don't know I've never done water slides before um, the decals were not really sticking to the wings they would uh, they would dry and then they would fall off and so okay that's great so I asked Hambone what he did and he basically, I don't know, he just said, you know, that should stick. And well, guess what? Mine didn't. So, I have a problem. So, I had to figure it out. So, I went to the internet and I bought these two things. Uh, both of them together were, um, I think it was like 13 bucks. I mean, you know, it's kind of costly, but good grief. Look at how much uh, solutions in each of these. So I'll show you how to, so basically uh, I'll show you what I have done so that uh, my decals uh, adhere to the wings. And then I just finished up a applying this um, matte varnish. It only requires a drop. You just brush it on the wing. Uh, just where the decal is. So for example, <clears throat> here is one with, you can see that the decal is not shiny at all, which is nice, right? And then the other one, uh, I haven't applied that yet. Maybe, uh, I mean, I don't know. I can see shine there a little bit. Maybe the lighting is a little off, but if uh, nothing else, that uh, matte varnish is just a, it's just another layer on the decal to help it stick. Okay, so I'm going to just do one fighter, uh, basically taking you through the steps of what I have figured out. So let me get this out and we will do this. So here's this uh, decal okay so what I figured out was you know you got to cut out these things and uh, I just used my exacto knife and I've already started maybe I don't know if you can see all this but I've already started to uh, cut six of them out because I'm gonna do three fighters so very carefully I don't get it I get it close but not too close uh, to the actual uh, decal but I cut it out 
and then pop this thing out. Let's get it out. And then one by one, it's a little tedious, but I don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just going a little too overboard on this. Um, but what I'm doing is I get as much of the excess trim that off because I don't want it to be shown. So I'm not sure if you can see, but anyway, let me move the camera just a little bit. Um, anyway, it takes multiple passes, but you know, hey, I love tedious stuff. So let's go ahead and cut that one out. Put that one aside. So now I got the one, right? So do this. Start slicing as close as possible. And then, you know, <clears throat> I heard something on uh, the WhatsApp chat chat about using water slides for applying that to like for example making your own symbols and graphics and things like that and applying it to like a table I thought man that'd be awesome so as uh, Moffat Field he had that idea where he talked about that and I thought man that'd be a great idea so thinking about doing something so I can put uh, some graphics on my table in a tasteful manner of course but uh, to call out things like for example the Reich point the imperial point and put that in the IPC tracker as opposed to the roundels that I created which are pretty cool but anyway, and then I guess, you know, using this solution that uh, I've shown you, you could apply it to actually remove. So that way it doesn't become permanent. Um, so I, I kind of like that. Anyway, totally off topic. So now I'm going to take this decal. So since I'm only doing one, um, I'm, I'm just going to drop it with the old camera slide this over I got a little solution actually this is just water nothing magical just a little h2o so let me uh, rotate this around maybe and then I'm just gonna scoop uh, yeah I just take a, a brush just drop it in there submerge it I don't care I drop it in and bone gets a little nervous when it uh, dives to the bottom I take it on as a challenge to get it out. So we'll see how well I can do this. All right, so then I just let it sit there um, for a while. I mean, I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you. Um, he, he had said, um, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds, but I found that it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so why am I moving my camera around? Well, because I can't find a good angle for this thing here. Okay, so while that's soaking, this is why I don't really care, because I'm going to take some of this. The first thing you do is use this. Uh, step number one is to use micro set, and you brush it <clears throat> just a little bit. So I'm going to put some on my brush, just a dab. And since I'm doing this Italian fighter, I'm going to apply this stuff on the where it's where that uh, decal is gonna fit. So it's really just a dab, right? I guess it's uh, it like replaces the water or something. I don't know. And then it also softens up the decal. I think that's the uh, that's the that's the trick. So I'm gonna put that there. Okay. So now I'm gonna go fish this guy out. And look at that, it just separates. Of course you didn't see that on camera, but it did happen. So you can see it's just there. Now I'm just gonna go get it with the brush. And it gets onto my tip of my brush. Okay. 
And then I go and um, man. I don't know if you can see this, but we're gonna see if we can do this live. So now I just place it on. Do I got it right side up? Man, I don't even know if it's right side up or not. This one's tricky. I think I got it upside down. I don't know, I'm off camera, but... Okay, don't panic. Only about two people are watching, so no big deal. Okay, so now... I got the thing on. Heck, I don't even know if it's... If the logo is... Uh, correct in its orientation but I'm gonna go with that that one is so I'm just kind of moving it ever so slowly and you can because there's water and stuff on this it'll move around but the trick with this one is unlike the Chinese and the France is that I gotta worry about the orientation you know, 12 o'clock position. Make sure those, whatever those things are, those three swords or whatever they are, are in the right up and down orientation. Whereas the other ones were just circles. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so there you go. So one decal is on, okay? Now, I am going to... <clears throat> It says to do this next. Um, is I'm just gonna dab, use this Q-tip just to get the extra water off there. Okay, and then you make sure you dab because if you move it around, the you know if you rub too hard, the decal is gonna move away. Now <clears throat> it says to um, after you get the uh, decal on is to do another drop of this stuff. So I just dip my brush in it, come back over here, and I'm gonna have to pause the video because I can let this dry. But then I just come in and I put a little bit there on the top. Just dab, because if you see it's moving around. But what you're doing is, God bless. Uh, this one, I shouldn't have picked this one to do live, but that's okay. Looks pretty good. All right, so what you're doing is, is this stuff just softens the top so it doesn't become hard. And I guess when it becomes hard, then it can crack off, break off, and or fall off. All right, so we're gonna pause this video just for a second. And I will be back. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes. It says to wait a few minutes for the decal to soften. Then, you take a, it says paper towel, but I've been using a Q-tip. And it says to gently press. So, gently press, don't move. Just to get the excess stuff off. And that also presses the decal down, which definitely looks flat. Now you can see some shine there, okay? That's what the matte varnish is supposed to take care of. All right, so I'm going to pause this video again, and then I will apply the next thing, and then we will do the matte varnish. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been, I don't know, 15 minutes? Uh, during that time, I went ahead and put the uh, decals on uh, the other fighters as well as the, on the other wing that I was messing with. And so up to this point, I've uh, <clears throat> basically got the decals on and I've applied this stuff on the wing. And then I applied it on top of the decal and then I just let it dry. And then this next step is to <clears throat> uh, basically this softens it again, but it really makes it sink into any surfaces. 
So, for example, if you look at this China, this P40 fighter, the decal uh, on this uh, on the left side of the wing there, you can see it actually sunk in to the, uh, the into the crevice. The one on the right didn't, but um, what that means though is that the decal is really soft and it's really sinking in and sticking to the surface okay so all i'm going to do is just take just a little bit you know i'm just dipping my brush in dab a little bit off come over here get my fada okay and then i just bear you know i just touch it right i'm not i'm not trying to move it because if it's still a little wet, it's going to move like that. It just moved. So you can just very gently move it back into position. Um, one thing that I did notice on the French fighter, at one point, uh, the decal split in half. But because you can move the thing around, I had slid it back. Uh, to make it a full circle again. Okay, that's that. All right, then the, you basically let this dry for a long time. I'm gonna let it dry for an hour or so. Then I'm gonna apply that matte varnish. So instead of uh, boring you uh, with that process, it's really just, you know, applying I just take a drop of this. In fact, I have a drop um, that I use for the the uh, uh, for that French fighter. I put a drop, right? So a lot goes a long way. And then I just uh, took a brush, and then I just um, the brush I had was like a kind of a kind of a whitish one. Then I just then I just brushed the the tip of the wing, and then made sure it wasn't globby. And I just brushed it on the decal, and then that's that. So I guess I could do it to the other fighter, because I know you're just dying to see me do it. Um, I think this is the right one. I might as well. Yeah, I don't know, you can't really tell, but anyway. Uh, so I just come over here. You can't see, I'm off camera here. Stuff's kind of already set up a little bit. Um, and I just, brush it on and uh, I'm just making sure there's no you know like a big glob right you just want to spread it on the decal spread it on the wing don't do too many times I would imagine and uh, that's that and then just let it sit which is what I'm gonna do go ahead and do the uh, China fighter might as well. All right, so I guess after I'm done with this, I will let you guys get on with your day. And I can't wait to get these on the table. Alright, let's put this guy on the table. Take him over here, we'll fly him over into Gibraltar. I got a battle going on with the chaplain right now. There we go. Looks awesome. Still has that weathered French palette, that blue, and then that decal really pops that fighter out. But not enough to overstimulate the eyeballs with too much color. So I think it looks great. All right, let's take a look at this P40 Flying Tiger. All right, let's go put you on the stand here. Drop you in right on this flight stand. Looks great, man. Just 
just enough detail. Last but not least, this known fighter, Italian fighter. I'm gonna fly him over to my scramble base. Pop him down. It's those small details that I like. 